considered as if the renting situation weren't already a struggle for many out there. A decision from the Houston Housing Authority could create new struggles for families looking for homes. The Houston Chronicle reports this week the Housing Authority has voted to lower the maximum amount of rent that would automatically qualify for the voucher program. We're talking about market rate, according to the authority. Some believe landlords would not be on the same page. Joining us to talk about it, Cross Country Mortgage Company Branch Manager, Allison Griffin. So Allison, take us to the beginning. What does this mean for those who may get vouchers out there to pay for their uh, homes or their rent? You know, Isaiah, it could be catastrophic. We don't really know the impact yet because we don't know how much is gonna be lowered. Mm -hmm. So for example, um, Kenneth Cole presented to the Houston Housing Authority at the board meeting Tuesday and said, we need to go to the 100% HUD median. So that left me with the impression that they're above that median. So if that's the case, then maybe we've been over market to begin with. And so we just don't know. So right now, a three bedroom voucher today in tier A, which is a high opportunity neighborhood, it's worth $3,333. When I checked the HUD website today, that same voucher on the HUD website says it's 2600 That's over a $700 drop. Mm -hmm. Now, I think one of the positive things, and hopefully the Houston Housing Authority Board will implement it, is getting a committee together, which I think is fantastic. You've had Chad Bogney on the show uh, as a real estate professional. He's very active in HAR. Let's get everybody in the same room so we can find out, okay, what is the impact of this? You know, on the one hand, I heard Kenneth Cole say, you know what, we're over the voucher. We've got HUD over here saying it's 2600 They're saying it's 3300 Maybe it's somewhere in the middle. Maybe mm -hmm. we can all come together and help the community, but I don't think anybody knows yet what the impact's going to be because the numbers haven't been released yet. Now, it wouldn't currently affect those who, right now, if they have vouchers now, but this will affect those coming in. How does that work? Oh, no, it can affect the families now because if I'm leasing a, um, a home and it's the... $3,333, now that vouchers only were 2600 so I'm having to move. Mm -hmm. Now, one solution that the Houston Housing Authority has been positive with is home ownership. The nice thing with home ownership is a lot of times they're coming at a lower payment with a mortgage payment than the, uh, than the rental standard. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that I know the board's looking into doing more with home ownership to help ease that burden. And that is just incredible because I'd never heard of that until you yeah. initially told us about yeah. that a year ago, yeah. that you can take those housing vouchers and put yeah. it towards home ownership. Yeah, it's an awesome program. We had 20, my team did 22 families last year, and out of those 22, Isaiah, two of them already off the voucher within one year. Wow. That means they wow. made enough income that they didn't need the subsidy anymore. They've, they've gone on to become teachers. They've gone on to study to get their master's degree. They're now in the Harris County, um, I think she's a psychiatrist now. So yeah, so they, they, it just stabilizes that family. It's so important. Mm -hmm. It's the moving. It's the cost. One client told me it costs them $4,000 every time they've got to move. $4,000, that's a lot of yeah, money. Absolutely. And I'm poor. I don't, I don't have the resources. Mm -hmm. and, and once again, for those who are interested, because I'm always intrigued by the yeah. vouchers, be, the ability to use vouchers yeah. to buy a home. Yeah. For those who are interested in that, what do they do? How should they proceed? Well, uh, first thing is they should always check with their housing authority. So, because not all housing authorities, Isaiah, offer home ownership. Mm -hmm. Houston and Harris County have embraced it. Gerald Womack at uh, Harris County is awesome. He leads that, he's the chairman of the board over there. And then the Houston Housing Authority has been really good to promote it. But you've got other housing authorities that don't. Secondly is, talk, you can call me at Cross Country. We're big supporters nationwide. Not only are we doing it in Houston, but we're doing it in Philadelphia, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, California. It's growing. I was on a call. Uh, Wednesday with HUD on a nationwide level I'm one of the stakeholders to talk to help improve the process how can we reach more families mm -hmm. all right Allison Griffin always good to see you with nice that you valuable too. information I, you know, that's great for families to know good. 